Hey, welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and um, one of the options that you might want to try when you're uh, upgrading to Internet Explorer 10 for most people Internet Explorer 10 works really well but when you upgrade a browser to something else uh, to a new version there could be plugins or um, some settings that actually make it work bad so um, here's a little video on how to repair basically um, your Internet Explorer 10 browser and bring it back to uh, normal functionality um, and this is good also if you just you know using Explorer 10 and have problems with it uh, what you just do is go to the tools menu at the top and into internet options or if you don't have it just go on the upper right to that pinwheel tool and you'll go to internet options you'll click the advanced tab on the upper right at the bottom two things you should try I would start by just clicking restore advanced settings and then clicking apply and OK close Internet Explorer okay we'll apply it here apply okay close Internet Explorer and start it again and look at what's happening is it okay did it fix your problem if that's enough just stay there don't do more than that but if it still doesn't work <clears throat> then you'll have a more drastic option by going into the internet options again and if you go into the advanced tab you have reset now reset is a really really hard reset button it changes everything from your start page to all of the options you might have tweaked in Internet Explorer that's why reset is not necessarily necessarily what you want to do um, if you have lots of options um, no you won't use your favorites and stuff like that but you will uh, basically reset everything in Internet Explorer and lose uh, automatic sign-ins in um, web pages for example so uh, you gotta be careful before doing a reset uh, make sure that you know it just doesn't work at all and you're really really going crazy because of that then you'll go into the reset button and if you want to make sure everything's reset click just put a little check mark into delete personal settings type reset you'll see it work then you close and it will tell you that you need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect uh, so just restart and bring back Internet Explorer uh, reset fixes probably um, for, I would say 60 to 70 percent of browser problems um, so it's really something to try before you call a tech guy for example so uh, hey just uh, try it out and if all fails well then you'll call your tech guy but chances are good that you'll be able to fix your browser and your internet browser and keep in mind that it affects more than just Internet Explorer because some settings in Internet Explorer actually affect other software that go on the web in your computer so sometimes you might have a problem with Google Chrome for example and it's because Internet Explorer has a setting that actually interferes in the browsing of other pieces of software like Firefox, Chrome or any other software that might need to go on the internet on the web. So if you enjoyed these videos click the subscribe button at the top of the screen you'll be informed when new videos are online and if you have any comments or questions on what you've seen let us know and uh, hey hope you come back to the official Windows 7 channel. Bye bye.